Tight end is number 13, Alex Bekashek. Tight end number one, Luke Lohman. Fullback is 44, Keith Whitaker. The uh, wingbacks are 32, Stephen Reynolds. And number five, Bryce McLeod. And taking the snaps is number 18, Andrew Doty. Warriors are coached by Mr. Doug McLeod. Starting offense for the Red Hawks. The center is 52, Justin Ferrick. The guards are 51, Seth Gawanter. And number 65, Brandon Bryant. Tackles are 71, David Jocelyn. And 56, Dylan Talbot. Tight end, 85, Tim Hoare. Split ends, 14, Ian Blight. And 81, Jake Rowe. Running backs are 42, Jack Hebert. And 43, Justin Blake. And at quarterback for the Red Hawks is number 20, Matt Ackerman. The Hawks are coached by Mr. Don Gordon. Captains now will meet at midfield for the coin toss. For the Hawks, 9, Oliver Fox, 56, Dylan Talbot, number 42, Jack Hebert, number 20, Matt Ackerman. For the Warriors, number 1, Luke Lohman, number 66, Leroy Page, number 72, Jake Orzakowski. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Frontier Football. Tonight, the Red Hawks are here to take on the Mohawk Warriors in their Turkey Tonight, Day Eve have, uh, game. Teams, the both teams out on the field right now, ready for the toss. Team, uh, with me here is Martha King Devine. I'm David Peck. Looking forward to an exciting game of football tonight. We want to thank some of the sponsors, some of our underwriters tonight, Coldwell Banker. Also, the most up, uh, Upton Massamount Realtors and Holiday Pizza helping us bring you this game here on the night before Thanksgiving. It's a raw night out here. We've got some rain falling, and uh, we're about ready to see a great game of football here on the Frontier Field. Both teams warming up, getting ready. Take a moment to welcome Jeff Terrell and Sean Hubert from Bear Country Radio. Broadcasting their, just recently celebrated their 300th broadcast. We thank them for their service to bring high school football to everyone on the airwaves. So as you heard that, Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert, celebrating their over 300 broadcasts on the air, on the radio. Jeff Terrell uh, doing this along with Sean Hubert. Quite a team those two make uh, as they broadcast for a long, long, long time. <laughs> I believe it is 300 broadcasts of football. Jeff Terrell and Sean Hubert have been covering high school football for a, a very long time. And we want to we wanna congratulate them on hitting the 300 mark. Red Hawks will kick off. So as you heard, the Red Hawks will be kicking off tonight. Back to receive for the Warriors. Number yeah. 32, Stephen Reynolds. Red Hawks wearing the red, Mohawk in the blue number and five, white. Bryce McLeod. Kicking for the Red Hawks will be number 56, Dylan Talbot. Re uh, the Mo uh, Mohawk Warriors with an overall record of eight and two. And for the league record, they have a seven and one. Kind of a tough year for the Frontier Red Hawks as they come into this game. And we'll see what they are capable of tonight. Brandon Bryant to kick off for the Hawks. The crowd pumped tonight trying to keep warm. It's gonna be a chilly night. That's the kickoff. Captured at the 10 yard line. Mohawk runs it in with the ball number five. Bryce McLeod on the return. Here he goes. Brandon Bryant on the stop. Return into Red Hawk territory. Yeah, it looks like he's down just First about the 52 yard line. At the frontier. Right at midfield. Let's go, boys. Well, it looks like they are midfield. setting it down just about on the 50 yard line.
Why are there two footballs? All right, all right, never mind. Never mind. Damage. Kevin Murphy, <laughs> our producer, telling us is to keep them dry. There we go. That's not now, just if only that I could have two of myself. <laughs> we go. That is number 18. Here we go. And Dodiani. down. Carry. Carry good for a Warrior first down. Tim Hoare on the stop for Frontier. And as you heard, that was number 18, first Andrew Doty from Mohawk. The Frontier 34-yard line. Frontier's 34-yard line. That back. 32, down at the 30, about the 30. Seth Gawanta on a stop for Frontier. Let's see. Let's see. Six, <laughs> four. I mean, Frontier, 30 yard line. Oh, 30, see, I was right. <laughs> you can see the numbers clearly right there. I can see you. the number, but I can't quite see the, the line. I hired a blind person to, uh, to do the commentary, so. <laughs> it's beneficial for everyone. I believe they said Jake Orzhowski, number 72. Going to be the center. Uh, huh? Fumble on a play. Took it down on a fumble. Recovered by 56 for the Hawks. Dylan Talbot, first uh, and right. Frontier. So it is now the Red Hawks ball. From the Frontier 32-yard line. Frontier 32 trying to take it back into the... Mohawk territory. There's flag, flag on the field. Right there. Flag on the field. Flag on the field uh, is what I said, but no, that's incorrect. <laughs> well, there is a flag on the field. <laughs> There's a flag on the field, not field. <laughs> and as I said, the Matt Ackerman <laughs> on the carry there. For Frontier number 20. Penalty uh, since Red Hawks declined at the... Second and ten. I want to say like second and ten. Second and ten. All right. Yeah. So second and ten. Penalty was declined, right? Yep, that's yep, what they said. That's what they said. Here we go. Uh, is he out? And, ooh. Ackerman on a carry. Number 20. Luke Lumen on a stop for the Warriors. Yeah. Down at the... Matt Ackerman getting it up to the... looks like the 30-yard 30, 30, line. The Just 30, about 25, 30. Third down and three for the Hawks. Third down and three for the Frontier Red Hawks. They take it back. Oh. Jack Hebert on a carry. Yeah, it looks like number 42, Very Jack Hebert, captain the team. First and 10, Frontier. First and 10, Frontier. First and 10, Frontier from the Frontier 38-yard line. So they're sitting pretty on the uh, Frontier 38-yard line. Oh, no, and Looks Jack. like there's going to be a face yeah. mask. By number 23. Penalty. Luke Bissell. <laughs> Looks like he took him down hard. Face mask face and a mask. Warriors. 15 yep. yard penalty. 15 Andy yard Red penalty. Hawk first down. Red face, Hawk first down. face mask, excuse me, on the Warriors. <laughs> Just grabbed a hold of that thing and took it down like he was roping a steer. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. So that's the 15 yard penalty. Getting closer. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Snap Good back. crowd here tonight, braving the Tim elements. Tim Hoare on the carry. Tim Hoare, oh, number here 85. Here we go, number 85. Taking it down, deep. Down, down. Two to 20. Bryce McLeod. Bryce McLeod takes him down, number five. Right near the 10 yard line. Very Looks like. Deep into Warrior territory for a Red Hawk first down. Red Hawk first down. Looks like to be about the Mohawk 15 or so. First and 10 from the Warrior 16 yard line. First and 10 from the Warrior 16 20, yard line. 20, running it down, and we're down, Matt down Ackerman. Down at the five, I would say. Between the five and the 10. The yep. on a stop. Five yard line. Uh, I'd say about the seven, eight maybe. Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> let's be technical here, <laughs> why not? Eight number, of nine, second and one. Number 23, and Luke Bissell with the tackle. Here we go. Oh, he tries oh, to get rid of the ball. And threw it away. Incomplete pass. In frontier with a third and one. Third and one, frontier. The crowd here braving the wet bleachers and the cold. They are, I know. We're but safe. You gotta love nothing like the Turkey Day game. Thanksgiving. Even as cold and wet as it may be. And that's just dinner. <laughs> Snap Here back. Here we go, Matt Ackerman. The ball passes it off. Number 40. 42. Blake on the carry. Uh, knocked out yep. of bounds. Just out of bounds. No, nope, number 43, Justin Blake. Running back, running back Justin Blake. <laughs> It's cold, I'm telling you. It is cold. <laughs> I think that should that should be a, a down, right? Lost First down. Yards, it'll be fourth and three for oh, no, yeah, I'm wrong. Looks like fourth and three. Not much of a gain there. Running for it, running for it. Ackerman. And, Ackerman. and here Takes we go. Down. First touchdown. touchdown for the Ackerman. Frontier Red Hawks. Matt Ackerman makes the first touchdown of the game. For Frontier. On the fourth and two. Here we go in the first quarter. And for the extra point. Nope. Oh, they, and uh, fumble. Incomplete Two pass. Incomplete. attempt is incomplete. 5.50 war remaining here in the first quarter. The Red Hawks six, the Warriors nothing. Six nothing. Frontier Red Hawks. Warriors have yet to score. Still early in the game, though. Very early in the game. Really early in the game. Incredibly early in the game. Yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> 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 yep. Hello. That looks nice. Hello, everyone. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. I don't usually like seeing myself on camera. Neither but do I. Kevin Murphy's done a great job. He has. He has. Hello, everyone. <laughs> It's a long game. We hear a uh, scream from the crowd. Not necessarily and the, true. And the, yep, the fans have definitely turned out tonight. They have. They have. Brandon Bryant's going to kick off for the, the Red Hawks. Back for the Warriors. Number 65. Oh, and it's caught. Caught by number five. Oh. Tim Hoare on the stop for Frontier. Down. Tim Hoare on the stop for Frontier, number 85. Grabbed a handful of jersey. Right at the 40, yeah? 41. Look like the 42. Here we go. There's the snap. Back to number, Back to number five, five for Mohawk. Let's see, that's Bryce oh, McLeod. Oh no, it's not down to number five, it's number 22. They, <laughs> they tricked us all, nice job. Down at the 40. 
first. 22 on the carry. That would be Steven Von Hogg for Mohawk with the carry. Action number 23 for Mohawk. Luke Bissell. Luke Bissell, Bissell. on the carry. Yep, Bissell carry on the carry. Mohawk first down. And he Tackled got by a host of Mohawk Red Hawks. first down. Tackled by a host of Red Hawks. Down near the 20 yard line. Went to your 20 yard line. Of all the nights to forget my binoculars, too. Let's <laughs> head <Yeah. laughs> so back to and Stephen Reynolds on a carry. With the ball, Stephen Reynolds. And, and down. Dylan Talbot. Dylan Talbot. Looks like we're Steph two and Duarte ten now. A stop for the Red Hawks. Gain of three, second and seven. It's a gain of three yards, that's a second and seven. Four fifteen on the clock. And here we go. Uh, oh, Dodi number. Yeah, Dodi on the carry, number eighteen. Diego Soto on a stop for the Red Hawks. Uh, Diego Soto takes down Dodi Mohawks Dodi. Yes, he does. First down, <laughs> Mohawk. <laughs> First down, Mohawk. <laughs> First to ten, timeout called. The Red Hawks. By, by the, the Red Hawks. Red Hawks. <laughs> Reminder, 50-50 tickets being sold. Gotta love the football raffles, too. <laughs> what do they raffle the 50, off? 50, well, it's a 50-50 raffle. Oh, so I see. 50% of whatever they get. Right. So, yeah. It could so be fun. It could be fun. As long as enough people... You going to buy a ticket? I'm probably not going to buy a ticket. Put in some money? Hmm. Again, we want to thank our underwriters, Holiday Pizza, uh, also Caldwell Banker, and Mass Amount, Upton Mass Amount Realtors yes. for helping us bring you the game tonight. Sounds good. Does it? Thank you. Oh, are you? <laughs> First and 10, Mohawk from the Frontier 11 yard line. Stephen Reynolds on the carry. Stephen First and 10, Reynolds Mohawk on the carry. from the Frontier 11 that yard line. Host of Red Hawks. That's what we call a pig pile. Stephen Reynolds on the carry. Dano. Six yards. Tackled by a host of Red Hawks. Tackled by a right. host of Red Hawks. Are you just practicing <laughs> that voice? Is that what you're doing? Is that... Is that Six yards, second and four for the Warriors. Second and four for the Warriors. And Mohawk taking it on the outside, number 23. <laughs> yes, yes, Luke Bissell again with the carry. And he was down. Luke Bissell on the carry. Knocked out of bounds, just short of the goal line. First and goal for the Warriors. Ooh. That'll make it first and goal for the Warriors. Not a good situation for the Red Hawks now. Just slid right out of bounds over there. On the carry. Knocked Very out easy to tie Just this game. A few more yards to go. 2.38 on the play clock here in the first quarter. Fumble on the play. Fumble on the play. Fumble on the play. Did I see a flag too? Mohawk. No. Second yes. and goal. No. Second and goal for Mohawk. Thank you. 
Touchdown, number 18, Andrew Doty. Number 18, Andrew Doty touchdown with the touchdown Mohawk. from Mohawk. That brings us up to 6-6, six and six tie score here in the game. At 148 left in the first quarter. Now, what Red will Hawks they do just couldn't next? stop the rush. I could not. What will they do? What will they do? Point conversion. Attempt two point conversion. Two point conversion. Attempt for Mohawk now. Oh. oh. Cody's pass is incomplete. And incomplete. Bounced right off the uprights the there. The field goal. Mohawk six, <laughs> Frontier six. Tie game now. We gotta hope that the Frontier Red Hawks can hold them off. With a record like Mohawk has, it's gonna be a tough battle for them. It seems like a pretty matched game so far. I know we're early well, in. Very but early in. Seems like each team has almost played exactly right, the same. But way. again, Frontier coming into this with a very patchy record. Uh, and Mohawk coming into this pretty strong. Again, the overall record for Mohawk eight and two for the season, league record. Uh, for the C7 and 1. And what is the record for Frontier? I believe that Frontier, yeah. Uh, I believe they're something like 2 and 8. Just oh. the opposite. So they're they're opposite. 2 and 8 for Frontier, yeah. Been a rough year. Well, there's always time to turn it around. Sometimes. Ah, uh, the optimism. Andrew Dayton, <laughs> off. Back to the Hawks, Jack Well, we'll see what happens. At 148 left in the first quarter. And here we go. Oh, Kick right between off the legs. Number 10, number William Gray. Pick covered by Tim Hoare, Red Hawks first and 10 from the Frontier 30 yard line. First and 10 from the Frontier 30 yard line. This is a historic rivalry. Oh, is it? Mohawk, Mohawk Trail Regional, uh, team from Buckland. Uh, the Frontier Red Hawks come into this here in Deerfield with the home field advantage. So we're hoping maybe that that can uh, give them the charge that they need. Sent back to 20. And down. Uh, Ackerman on a carry. Leroy Page on a stop. Leroy Loss Page of Mohawk stops them. Second and 12. And here we go. Jack Hebert on the carry. Number 42, Jack Hebert on the carry for the Red Hawks. Taken down. Could you see, Martha, where they are? Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Third and fourth for Frontier. Third and fourth Frontier. Looks like they're on the about 35. Yeah. Yeah. 35-yard line. And didn't get very far. They did not get very far. Maybe a yard. Jack Hebert on oh, the carry. three Five minutes left on, in the first Frontier. quarter. Two minutes now. No. Yes. We're headed down. Just about 24 seconds left. Two in the, seconds. In the quarter. <laughs> seconds, not minutes. <laughs> I can't tell time. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> but as they say, time is running out. Ten seconds left. Here in the first quarter. Here in the first quarter. That's the end they of the let it run out. Here. End of the first quarter here at Frontier Regional. 6-6 six, six is the score. Tie game. Again, just to remind you, the Frontier football parents selling 50-50 raffle tickets. 
And on that note, the game, yes. Martha, would you like to thank our underwriters once again? I would love to thank our underwriters. We have Coldwell, bring bring this bank. To you. <laughs> we have Coldwell Banker, players, Uptown Massamont Realty, and Holiday Ball Pizza, and um, who are underwriting this game today. We thank you for your support. So head coach again for Frontier, Don Gordon. And um, looking at Mohawks head coach, Doug McLeod. I'm not exactly sure how many years these two teams have played the, the Thanksgiving game. 15 years these two have been matching up? 50 years. 50 years. This is the 50 year anniversary. Wow, well look at that. Well, look at that. <laughs> 1963, they started playing this Turkey Day game. And here we are, 50 what years year? later. 1963. 1963. I was going to ask Murph if he was at the first game, but I don't think so. I don't even <laughs> think he's listening to it. <laughs> so here we go. We start the second quarter. Six and six, the tie score. Uh, to Ackerman on a carry. First Ackerman on the carry. Red Hawks. First down. First down Frontier for the Mohawk at the Frontier 46 yard line. Frontier 46 yard line. Justin and Blank on a carry. Right at the 45. Young man. Luke Luman on a stop. No gain on a play. Justin Blake on the carry there. He's a junior here at Frontier. Back to 20. Oh, there we go with the pass. Wow. Pass and intended for Tim Hoare, broken up by. Looks like that was intercepted. Bryce McLeod. By Third Bryce and McLeod. For the Hawks. Third and eleven for the Hawks. That would have been an incredible pass. It was an incredible pass. Just didn't go through, did it? Just didn't get where it was supposed <laughs> to go. It did not get where. Right. <laughs> exactly. And here we go. Oh, pass. and dropped. Pass intended for. Pass from Matt Ackerman. Jack Keeper, they complete. That will lead the Hawks a fourth down and 11 from the Frontier 46 yard line. Fourth and 11 from the Frontier 46 yard line. 65, Brandon Bryant, the punt for Frontier. Number six, Brandon Bryant taking the punt for Frontier. Bryce McLeod drops back for the Warriors. Bryce McLeod taking it back for the Warriors. Hunted. And there we go. Bryce punt will be down at the Looks Warrior 20-yard like line where Mohawk takes over first and 10. Warriors to the 20-yard line. They'll be taking over first and ten. First and ten. Eight forty eight left in the second quarter. So these quarters are shorter. Shorter quarters. Short quarters. They're shorter quarters than than wow. what I thought. <laughs> It is chilly out here, do have to say. Here we go, snap. Oh, wow. Cody dropped for a loss. Nice takedown. By 65, Brandon Bryant. Number 65, Brandon Bryant. For the Frontier Red Hawks, nice takedown there. Not much of a gain for Mohawk. Timeout called by the Warriors. Timeout called by the Warriors now. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, <laughs> timeout Kai by the Warriors, so that's one and one. One burn for the Red Hawks. Now the Mor Warriors take theirs. Yes. Three for each, right? Per half? That's a Murph question. Four, Four? for each. Wind is about, about to take to down our, our tent. tent? <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> Make for a very exciting Braving game. Braving the elements here on FCAT. Thank you for tuning in to the Mohawk Red Hawk game. It looks like Mohawk's regrouping down near the five yard line. Second 15. Fumble on the play. Fumble, Fumble on the play. Goatee on a carry. Wow. Oh. Ackerman on the stop. Andrew Doty on the carry. Ackerman, Ackerman on the stop. Yep. Matt Ackerman for the Red Hawks. 5'10", 153. Just about medium size for the team. Bissell on a carry. And down. Flag on a the play. There's a flag on the play. What are they going to call this? Face mask on face the Red Hawks. Uh, another, another, Red Hawks. Penalty. another Mohawk First face down mask. Warriors. 15-yard penalty awarded to the Red Hawks. They'll be taking the ball. First to ten for the Red Hawks. Bryce McLeod on a carry. Oh, Bryce McLeod's no. got the carry. And down. Diego Soto on a stop for the Red Hawks. Diego Soto makes the stop. Diego number 59. He's a junior. First and ten from the Mohawk 42-yard line. Quite a leap. Reynolds on a carry. Jack Hebert on a stop for Frontier. All right, that was Steven Reynolds for Mohawk. Hello? Carrying the ball. Jack Hebert takes him down. Jack Hebert captain of the team number 42. Second and three. Second and three. Six and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Cody on a carry. Warriors are down. Tim Hoare on a stop. Carry good for a Warrior first down. First to 10 Mohawk. First to 10 looks about the 45 yard From line. The frontier, 43 yard line. 43. I'm getting better. <laughs> getting closer. <laughs> Whitaker on a carry. No gain on the play. No okay. gain. Keith Whitaker. No gain for Mohawk. Brandon Bryan on a stop. Brandon Bryan stops him. Second and ten. Oh 
Still a tie game here. Six and six, five and a half minutes in the second quarter. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> My co-host is laughing at me. Just trying to keep warm. They say you're even warmer if you smile. All right, here we go. Pass to number 13. Oh, oh, incomplete. incomplete. Taken down by number 42. Incomplete. Jack Hebert. The wind picking up just slightly here. Pretty decent crowd considering the the chilly breeze. Mm. Well, Fans definitely loyal to the teams here. They are. Frontier. Mohawk on the other side. Once again, a storied rivalry. 50 years in the making tonight. Reynolds on uh, the carry. Re Reynolds on the carry. Six, Dylan Talbot. Dylan Talbot takes him down, captain of the Frontier team. One of the two. Time out for the other being uh, Oliver Fox. We've Time got out. a worry on the field or an injury. And that's another timeout. Fourth and 15 for Mohawk. Fourth and 15 for Mohawk. <laughs> 34, Brian Sullivan drops the punt for Mohawk. And it looks like the EMTs are heading over to the Mohawk side. Timeout called by the Warriors. Yeah, timeout. Jack Hebert back for the Redhawks. Who is it down right now? Hopefully we'll find out about the Mohawk player. What's happened to him? Right now the teams are ready once again. Six, six the score here. Oh, flag. Flag, a play. flag down on the play. What are they going to call this? Procedure on the Warriors will be refused. Red Hawks ball, first and ten. Red Hawks ball, first and ten. Procedure called on the Warriors. Mohawk. From the Mohawk 37, 37 yard line. Yard line. You guys are gonna get dripped on. You guys are gonna get dripped on. You guys are welcome. You guys are welcome to come back here if you want to. Uh, why don't we go in the back? Yeah, you can go in back here. Yep. Are we in your way? Well, I'm worried about you guys getting dripped on. Actually, more than anything. So we want to take this time once again to thank our underwriters here for FCAT to bring you the football game, Coldwell Bankers, Upton Massimont Realtors, and Holiday Pizza. <laughs> Helping bring you the Thanksgiving Day game between the Mohawk Warriors and the Frontier Red Hawks here in South Deerfield. Oh, there was the fumble. Jack Hebert down at the Frontier. 42-yard line. <laughs> Illegal block by the Red Hawks. Illegal block called on the Red Hawks. Fifteen yard penalty, it'll be first and twenty-five. Fifteen yard penalty, it'll be first and twenty-five. <laughs> Very nice.
And we got the snap running in. Ackerman on a carry. Matt Ackerman on the carry down. Looks about the 51 yard Alex line. Dukashek on a stop. Alex Dukashek for Mohawk on the stop there. Second and 14 for the Hawks. Second and 14. There's a snap back. Blake on a carry. Justin Blake. Jake Orzakowski on a stop for the Warriors. And Jake Orzakowski takes down Blake. Third and 15 for the Red Hawks. Third and 15. The MTs making their way back across the field. Third and 25. Third and 25. Three and a half minutes left in the second quarter. You gotta wonder what kind of a role the elements are playing here tonight. It's gotta be chilly, even if you're running around. All right, here we go. Pass. There's the pass. Oh. Ackerman's pass is complete. Ackerman's pass is complete. That's a complete pass. It was quite a catch. Complete to Tim Hoare. Completion good for a Red Hawk first down. Number 85, Tim Hoare with the catch on that. Good enough for a Red Hawk first down. Boy, he is a tall player, huh? How tall is he, He Marna? is six foot four. Jack Hebert on a carry. Weighing in at 178. Big fella. He's a big guy. Steven Reynolds on the stop. Gain of four yards, second and six for the Red Hawks. Hebert on a carry. No. Hebert taken down quickly by the Mohawk defense. Jake Orzakowski on a stop. Jake Orzakowski. Third down for the Red Hawks. We're third and, third six. and yeah, We're looking six. at the third. Oh, oh. Pass incomplete pass. Tim Hoare, incomplete. That will leave the Red Hawks with a fourth and six. It's the fourth down. Fourth down. Mohawk, 25 yards. Six line. yards to go. Approaching. Yep. Ooh. And there's the pass, Ackerman's incomplete. Pass, the for Hoare is incomplete. The Warriors will take over on downs. First to 10, Mohawk from their own 25 yard line. The ball is wet, the grass is wet. People are just falling all over the place right now. Yeah, it's a, a just drizzly night, not, not too much rain right now. Things are wet out there. Sorry. But the cold definitely has to play a factor. And Mohawk is now returning. They have the first and 10. What they say on their own 25? I believe so. The 25 yard line. I don't know if you could hear it at home, but we do have the drizzle pattering on the roof right now of our tent here at FCAT Central. Pass. Oh, in pass. Incomplete. Yes. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Pass to Luke Bissell Second there. For the Warriors. Uh, two minutes, 16 seconds left in the half. Two and ten for the Mohawk Warriors. And the setup, the snap. Oh. Reynolds on the carry. Yeah. Reynolds on the carry for Mohawk. Soto on a stop for Frontier. I believe that was Diego Soto. Third and six for the Warriors. 
from the Mohawk 29 yard line. Not making much ground here, the Mohawk Warriors. They are not, they are not. Now They've been in about the six. same spot for, for a while. Even for the record they have, you've got to like this frontier defense. They're doing very well. Oh. Looks like incomplete pass. Red Hawks cover the ball. Incomplete pass for Mohawk. Fourth and six for Mohawk. All right, so that was third and six. We're now on the fourth down for the Mohawk Warriors. The wind picking up. Some brave fans out here. Very much. We've got about 25 kids all huddled together right in front of us. <laughs> Our producer warm. Kevin Murphy holding on to the tent. <laughs> Luckily, he's a strong man. I don't know if I can hold it. <laughs> Do you need some help? Uh, here we go, number 34 with the kick. Down at the frontier 20 down at the frontier 20 yard line. Frontier first to 10. Just over a minute left to go in the half. This is the stuff of legend here. New England weather, you gotta love it. Yeah, it's wonderful. I'm looking around and we've got some people here <laughs> in short sleeve shirts. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how dare we have a tent? How, how dare we? <laughs> some hardened fans up here. Got number down at the 20, 20, 20. Yeah. <laughs> Second and 10. Check a check on the stop for the Warriors. And Wait one minute. Yard, maybe two, second and eight. Alex Dekashek for the Warriors, tight end. See if the Frontier Red Hawks can make up some ground here. We got It'd be it. nice to go into the half with a higher score. I don't think they're going to make it, though. Nope. Ackerman on the carry. Dekashek on the stop. It's down at the 25 with less than half a minute left to go. Timeout called by Mohawk. Timeout. Mohawk calls a timeout. Counting down the time till halftime. 24 minutes left. Minute 24 seconds. seconds. 24 seconds left. I really have no idea what the difference is between a minute okay, and a second. Okay, now seconds make up minutes. 60 minutes in an hour. Okay. 60 seconds <laughs> in a minute. Thank you. That's your lesson at home. This is why high school is important. 36 for the Red Hawks. <laughs> Somebody lost a balloon. Somebody Ackerman lost a balloon. On the <laughs> <laughs> Ackerman on the carry there. Leroy Page on a stop for the Warriors. Timeout called by Mohawk. Mohawk Frontier calls a timeout. Fourth and seven. Fourth and seven. I should have brought a pillow. <laughs> would have been a good idea. It would have been a good idea. Brandon Bryant will punt for the Red Hawks. Brandon Bryant punting five. for the Red Hawks. 
Bryce McLeod will drop back for the Warriors. Bryce McLeod drops back for the Warriors. And it's down. Warriors first and 10 from the Frontier 41 yard line. With eight seconds left to go. In the Not half. a great position to be in if you're the Red Hawks. Eight seconds to go, yep, right here in the half. And there's the pass. And number it's good. Number five, pass Mohawk complete. complete. To number five, Bryce McLeod. Frontier 13. I'm going to say right about. First and 10, Warriors. First and 10 from the Frontier. 15 yard line. 15. 15. <laughs> there you go. I'm off by two yards. As long as we're in the ballpark. It was a nice pass, though. It was a very nice Mohawk pass. Mohawk there. <laughs> Frontier could definitely use the win tonight. Coming into this, the underdog on the season. First and 10. First and 10 with 0.1 second left to go. Oh no, 0.7. Here we go. Uh, they're going to take pass. the pass. Cody's pass. Incomplete. Incomplete. That's the end of the first half here for the Frontier Regional School. End of the first with half the at Frontier with a score 6 to 6. six. To Frontier Red Hawk, 6. Going into this halftime tied game. Again, just a couple of reminders, 50-50 tickets. Thank you once again for joining us here on FCAT. Community the Access Television. The we want to thank our underwriters, well Martha. Yes, we do. Coldwell Banker, Uptown Mass Mount Realty, Holiday Pizza. We want to thank you for underwriting this game this evening. This Thanksgiving Day football game, Frontier versus Mike Mohawk. Gaffigan, 18, Andrew Doty to kick off for the Warriors. Number back 18, the Andrew Doty going to kick off for the Running Warriors. Back, and then Sending it back to the Hawks. Jack Hebert. And 42, Jack Hebert. Kick goes out of bounds, yes. penalty flag on a play. Kick goes out of bounds, we get a penalty. And the Warriors. <laughs> the players are struggling to stay warm right now. Them. Tonight's winning 50 50, $82. Number 495 172. 495 172. Claim your prize here in the press box. And as always, the Frontier Football Parents, thank you for your support. Second kick. Is down. Caught. Caught. Turn. Ooh. Oh, hard hit. That was a very hard hit. 35 yard line. Thereabouts. Zawinski on the return. Zawinski on the return there. Or Zakowski on a stop. First and 10 Frontier from the Frontier 35 yard line. First and 10 Frontier from the Frontier 35 yard line. As we just begin the second half. 
of the six six tie score. The fiftieth anniversary of this rivalry, Mohawk Frontier. Sounds kind of like some of my rivalries. <laughs> Hebert on the carry. Hebert on the carry for Frontier. <laughs> Keith Whitaker on a stop. Loss of a yard, second and 11. Loss of a yard, second and 11 for Frontier. Looks like number 83. Joe Morowski's out. Tim no. Hoare on the carry. Tim Hoare on the carry. Looks like they didn't make much leeway no, there. Right about at the Third 35. Brian Sullivan on a stop for the Warriors. Game of two, third and nine. Go to third and nine. And there's the pass. Um, incomplete. Pass. Incomplete. Zawinski is incomplete. Ackerman to Zawinski, incomplete. Fourth and nine. Fourth down. And nine. Nine to go. Nine to go. Nine to go. We want to welcome Gabe Japley here to the uh, FCAT <laughs> broadcast booth. <laughs> Brandon Bryant, the punt for Frontier. Bryce McLeod <laughs> drops back for the Warriors. Bryce McLeod dropping back for the Warriors. Bryant going to kick. Here we go. Oh. Oh. And down. And he's down. Trips up at the Mohawk 35-yard line where the Warriors take over first and 10. The Warriors take over first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Be interesting to see who's going to score first here in the second half. It As we be. said before, the Mohawk Warriors coming into this with a little bit of a, uh, well, to say a little bit of a better score on the, or a record on the season. It's an understatement. Oh, they've got an edge. <laughs> they've got an edge. But you can't count out the Frontier Red Hawks just yet. Fumble on the play. There's a fumble on the play. Recovered by the Red Hawks. Recovered Red Hawks by. make the recovery. <laughs> Stuck right there on the 35 yard line. Diego Soto on a, on a recovery for the Hawks. First and 10 Frontier from the Mohawk 38 yard line. This should make it very easy for the Red Hawks. 38 yard line. Down at the 40. I didn't see who that was. Second and ten. The Red Hawks. I believe we have a timeout. I believe we do. Oh no. We have timeout called. Oh no. No. No time out here yet. Clock still going. 7.40 left in the third quarter. There's the pass. Tim Moore. Oh, and passed. dropped the Warriors Broken number five. McLeod. For Bryce McLeod. Jake Rowe. Number 61, Jake Rowe. Nine. The 39 yard line. The Red Hawks trying to make some leeway here. 
Back down, nope. It's not gonna do him any good. Number 20, Matt Ackerman taken down before he could get anywhere. Fourth and 12. Fourth and 12 for the Frontier Red Hawks. Once again, quickly, we just want to thank our underwriters, Coldwell Bankers, Upton Massamont Realtors, and Holiday Pizza for helping us bring you the Thanksgiving Eve game here at Frontier. There's the punt. Downfield, stopped. Down in, inside the 10 yard line where the Warriors take over first and 10. Inside the 10 yard line. Warriors first and 10. Pleasant. And yet here are all of these fans devoted. Reynolds on oh. the carry. Reynolds on the carry. And down at about the four on a stop. About four the stopped him. Seven, second and three. Second and three. Fumble on a play, recovered by the Red Hawks. Wow, fumble on the play, recovered by the Red Hawks. Saul Again. Soto on a recovery. Saul Soto recovers the ball for the First Red Hawks. First and 10, Frontier. First and 10, Frontier. The 20 yard line. Good old Saul Soto. <laughs> Number one for the Red Hawks. He's a junior. We are awfully close to getting another touchdown here. Hebert on the carry. Oh, that wasn't, didn't get much, <laughs> much, much yardage Hebert there. Hebert on the carry for the Red Hawks. Leroy Page on the stop. Second and nine for the Hawks. Slowly but surely, the Red Hawks taking it downfield to the Mohawk Warriors. Frontier in the red. The home red, Mohawk in the white. Mohawk's usual home colors, blue and gold. Oh, there's a stop. Passed over. Tim Hoare on Here the he goes. Oh, 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 no. Tim Hoare. There he goes. Oh. Alex Tim Hoare. on a stop. Down. First down, Red Hawks. First and 10. Should be first and goal, isn't it? Aren't they all the way down at the end? The Red Hawks. Oh no, first and ten. Looks like it's going to be on the first and goal frontier. First and goal. Huh? I Mohawk was right. Nine yard line. <laughs> Mohawk nine. Why don't you stop me? Stop me next time <laughs> when I start talking crazy. Yeah, I know. Former coach. Matt Ackerman on a carry for a Red Hawks. And touchdown, touchdown, Red Hawks. Number 20, Matt Ackerman. Touchdown, Red Hawks. Red Matt Hawks. Ackerman makes a touchdown for the Red Hawks. 12 to 6 now, the score. As you said, once the Red Hawks got into the uh, scoring position, they some did would it. say it was only a matter of time. And that it was. <laughs> that it was. You meeting somebody or what? What? You meeting somebody? Yeah. Oh. Timeout called by Frontier. Timeout Frontier. Frontier calls that timeout. <coughs> and just under five minutes left in the third quarter. Frontier just made their second touchdown of the game after a scoreless second quarter. 
Now Frontier 12, Mohawk 6. See if they're going to go for that two-point conversion again. What do you think, Dave? I don't know, Martha. We'll have to see what they do. We will have to see. Didn't work out so well last time they tried. But it is awfully windy right now. Going for that one extra point may not cut it. No, oh, here we go. For the extra point. Despite the wind. There's the kick. Point after. And it is good. good for a point. One extra kick point. So that makes it 13 6. Frontier Red Hawks. Bryant with the point after. 4.55 remaining here in the third quarter. The Red Hawks 13. The Mohawk Warriors 6. I have a fever and the only prescription is more cowbell. There you go. Where is that coming Fans from? Fans celebrating, as we said. <laughs> Do you want me to be mad at him? Do you want me to say something? <laughs> All right. If I see him, I'll let him know you were looking for him. Brandon Bryant to kick off. Brandon Bryant to kick off for the Red Hawks. Kevin Reynolds and Bryce McLeod are back for the Warriors. And the rain is slowly turning to snow here. Yes, it is. And frozen rain. At Frontier. Snow and freezing rain, which would make the trek down the bleachers so much fun. Ooh. Oh, hear that hit? Oh, I heard that one too. <laughs> down they go on the sideline. Von Hall on the return. Knocked out of bounds in Frontier territory at the Frontier 49 yard line. Oh, where the just take inside over the first Frontier territory at the 49 yard line. Yeah. 4.45 to go here in the third quarter. And there's the pass. And, oh, uh, incomplete. Pass. Incomplete. <laughs> Almost intercepted. Sending for <laughs> Hall, broken up by. Slippery conditions Justin out there Blake. on the field right now. Second and 10 for Justin the Justin Blake making sure that pass did not happen. Bissell on the carry. Ackerman on a stop. Matt Ackerman Down makes a, a stop for the Red the Hawks. 43. Hmm? At about the 43. Warriors yeah, Warriors have the first down now, first and 10. Looks like that's in the Hawks, 37, 38. 38 yard line. Reynolds on the carry. Reynolds carries it downfield, and he stopped. Tim Hoare on a stop. By Tim Hoare. Very good for a Warrior first down. Ah, they did make the uh, first down though. First and 10. They did. Is it raining? Is it First snowing? Is it sleeting? Is a hurricane a blowing? No. <laughs> no one knows. Four minutes left in the third quarter. 13-6, the score. The underdog Red Hawks taking it to the Mohawk Warriors tonight. Bissell on the carry. Matt Bissell on the carry. Is that Luke Bissell? Seth Gawanter on a stop, gain of eight. Second and two. 
With the gain of eight for Mohawk. The Warriors brought it down pretty quick. They? Pretty quick. Frontier defense doing their job. But slowly and surely the Mohawk Warriors gaining ground. And here we go. Oh, no gain. Dylan Talbot, Brandon Bryan on a stop. They rolled him over in the clover. Second and two. <laughs> Second and two from, uh, this is third and two for Mohawk, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Reynolds on a carry. Reynolds on the carry for Mohawk. Talbot on the stop. Talbot. Fourth of the yard for the Warriors. Timeout called by the Red Hawks. Hawks take another timeout. Here on the field, 2.23 left in the quarter. 13-6, Frontier Red Hawks. Well, Burr, says all of the fans here today. The uh, Hawks on the sideline trying to keep warm. Out on the field though, you know those guys are keeping warm. <laughs> Here we go. Mohawk, once again. Dodie quarterback sneak. Dodie doing the quarterback sneak. Not successful. First down Warriors. First down Warriors. <laughs> That's fancy. First and 10 from the 12 yard line. First and 10 from the 12 yard line. Mohawk again making steady progress into Red Hawk territory. Reynolds uh, here we go with the run. Oh, and almost. Touchdown, and touchdown, Warriors. Reynolds makes the touchdown for the Warriors, bringing us up to 13 Steven and 12. 12-yard 12 touchdown run for Mohawk. Stephen Reynolds, a 12-yard touchdown run for the Warriors. What do you say, Chapley? Cold? No, what are you doing there? It's nice and warm now. We just got a little bit of rain. That actually looks like snow. Gabe Chapley, our assistant producer. Conversion. Mohawks going for the Perfect two points. Temperature for a good football game. There you go. Perfect weather for football. Passes incomplete. incomplete. 154 remaining here in the third quarter. The Frontier Red Hawks 13, the Mohawk Warriors 12. 154 left in the third quarter with Frontier still leading by one point with 13, Mohawk 12. You gotta wonder how hard it's gonna be for them to hold on to the lead, especially with uh, just the one point. You gotta wonder, but they get the ball back now. It's a third two point conversion that has not worked this game. Two for Mohawk. One for Frontier. Andrew Doty will kick off for the Warriors. Jack Hebert. Andrew Doty kicking off for the Warriors and Jack Hebert. And Matt Ackerman. And Matt back Ackerman for the moving back for the Red Hawks. Very interesting third quarter here. 
It is. As the Warriors take on the Frontier Red Hawks. Mohawk Warriors traveling down from Buckland tonight. Here's the kick. It's fumbled. Picked up and the run down Picked the sideline wow. for Hubert on the return. That was quite a carry. Down to the 35. That was Jack Hebert for the return. 38. First down, Red Hawks. First down, Red Hawks. Frontier, 35 yard line. 35, 35 yard line for Frontier. For those of you who don't know the Frontier Red Hawks with the traditional Mohawk hairstyle for the game tonight. Oh, is that so? Yes. Happens every year. Kind of the way Jack to psych themselves up. The Jack Hebert on the carry for the Red Hawks now. Brian Sullivan on a stop for the Warriors. Game oh. two, <laughs> second and eight. Second and eight for Frontier. I'll carry it. Good more on a carry. Down to the Looks like they're going to make that. Oldsman on the stop. Third and about a yard. Oh, we got one yard to go. As he said, third and about a yard. Oh. There's a hit. Coming out of carry. And down. Hall on the stop. Mohawk fans very happy. We got 35, 35 seconds left Frontier. in the third quarter. Call by Frontier. Frontier calls their timeout. I believe that's the third timeout for them for the game. During this timeout, we'd like to thank our sponsors for allowing us to broadcast this game. <laughs> <laughs> Coldwell Banker, Upton Massimont Realtors, and Holiday Pizza. Our underwriters here on FCAT. For this Turkey Day game, where it is chilly, although. Pizza sounds good right about pizza now. Pizza sounds fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. That's and there's fantastic. the kick. Number five. Good catch. For Mohawk. Cloud on the return, Ackerman on the stop Price for McLeod. the Mohawks. First and 10 Warriors from the Mohawk 48 yard line. First and 10 Warriors from the Mohawk 48 yard line. 39 seconds left in the quarter. How much? It's either 39 or 33. I'm going to say 39. I think it's 3.9. 3.9. <laughs> Let's see how that works. You're right, 3.9 seconds. Well, look at that. I was right about one thing. <laughs> You've been right about a lot of things. Like it's cold. And it's cold. And that's cold. the end of the quarter. Reynolds on a carry. Reynolds on the carry for Red Hawk. Carry into Red Hawk territory. That's the end of the third quarter here from the Frontier Regional School. At the end of the, the third the quarter. Hawks 13, the Warriors 13-12. Then just Frontier reminders, Red Hawks. immediately following the game, the presentation of the championship trophy for the winning team, as well as the Mike Gaffigan and Tim Dash awards for the respective most valuable players. Well, there we go. The awards will be given out at the end of the game. Championship trophy to the winning team. 
And the awards to the MVPs from both sides. From both teams. From both sides. Right? Good. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> is this the last game of the football season? Yes, it is. It is. Absolutely. So as we head into the fourth quarter, the Frontier Redhawks have that one-point lead. It's a very tenuous hold on the on the lead. Let's hope they can maintain it to the I end of the game. Mohawk again, the stronger team heading into this matchup. First and ten Warriors for the Frontier 26-yard line. Frontier 26, first and ten. Reynolds on the carry. Reynolds on the carry. Ackerman on a stop. Ackerman Very makes good a for stop. A warrior first down. First down just about at the 15. As the refs switch the balls out again. Keep a dry ball and a in a rainy dinked. Mm. McLeod on the carry. McLeod on the carry for the Warriors down. Except the water. Looks about the 20 yard line. Galanter with the stop. Loss of a couple yards, second and 12. <clears throat> second and 12 now. Bissell on the carry. Bissell on the carry for Mohawk. Oh, looks like we got a penalty. Brian on the stop. Oh, no. Gave him about five yards, it'll be. Referees are conferring out on the field. Seven for the Warriors. Looks like it'll be third and seven for the Warriors. Mohawk fans very vocal tonight. There's the pass. Cody's pass incomplete. 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 <laughs> pass for Mohawk. We have a player down in the end zone for Mohawk. EMTs making their way player. over. That's the second injured player for Mohawk tonight. So it is. Gotta say with the elements, definitely treacherous out there. This Thanksgiving Eve game here, Frontier, Mohawk. Looks like he's doing okay, he's running. So that's nice. Who is that, number 22? Taking him off the field. Looks like a minor injury. Fourth and seven for Mohawk. Fourth and seven, Mohawk. Frontier trying to keep the Warriors from making the touchdown out of, carry, knocked out of bounds by 42. Mohawks Reynolds Jack out of Hebert. bounds. Jack Hebert knocked him out. Frontier holds, it'll be first and 10 Red Hawks. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. Trying to make a gain on the Mohawk Warriors. Yeah. 
trying to hold on to that one point lead. Maybe improve that one point lead. Perhaps. 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 Give themselves a little more uh, room to breathe. First and 10 Frontier. <clears throat> In the eight yard line. From the eight lar yard line. <laughs> eight yard line. There's a fumble on the play. Ackerman recovers. I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> the eight yard line. Also, a yard will be second and 11. Second and 11 for the Red Hawks. 7.28 to play in the quarter. In the game. In the game. Are you making fun of me? No. You make fun of me. I'm allowed to make fun of you. I'm not making fun of you. I would never do that. No, okay. Hebert on the carry. Hebert on the carry. Gain of a couple yards. It'll be third and nine. Third and nine. Timeout called by Frontier. Frontier calls another timeout. I thought they had called all of their timeouts. I think this may be their fourth. Currently 36 degrees here in South Deerfield. Drizzle still holding steady, not as heavy as it was before. Snow may have stopped. Diehard fans holding on. It is a close game. I wouldn't want to leave this game right now. You don't know who's going to win. Who indeed. Who indeed. In a rivalry that's gone on for 50 years or more. Not more, just 50 years. Just, just exactly 50 years. 39 for Frontier. <laughs> There's the pass. And and complete, complete pass. The complete pass. Justin Blake. Completion good for a Red Hawk first down. And that's a Red Hawk first down. I want to say the 26, 27 yard line. Would you say, Martha? First and 10 Frontier. I would the say. Frontier 31 yard line. 31. 31. <laughs> Gabe Chaffley laughing at me now. No, I'm just thinking of good food. Me too. <laughs> Gabe Chaffley thinking of food. <laughs> and milk. Assistant producer Chaffley here. Again, we want to thank Gabe. Blake on a carry, tackled by producer Kevin Jake Murphy. Orzikowski. Jake Orzikowski. No gain on a play. It'll be second and ten. Second and ten at the 31-yard line. Carry. Ackerman on the carry. Keith Whitaker. Bryce McLeod on the stop. Bryce McLeod, Keith Whitaker on the stop for the Warriors. Five and a half minutes to go Time in the quarter. Called by Mohawk. Frontier will have third and about a yard. Mohawk takes a timeout. Frontier has third and one. Trying to keep the circulation moving here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like cold metal to get your 
football fever going. You said it, right? Dave. <laughs> Not a bad time to cuddle now. <laughs> right, Gabe? Yeah. Gabe Chatley's all about the cuddling. Here at the Frontier Third Mohawk the game. For the Hawks from the Frontier 38. Frontier 38 yard line. Snap back. Hebert, first down carry for the Red Hawks. And we've got a 10 from the Frontier. First down for the Hawks. 46 yard line. On the 46 yard line. Definitely a back and forth battle here between Frontier and Mohawk. Looking at the stats, you'd think these teams would be mismatched, but right now, looks like it's a pretty much back and forth game. Davis Johnson, loss of a couple yards, second and 12. Second and 12 Lost a couple now. yards on that play. They do seem pretty well matched, don't they? You can tell by the way they're playing, by the score. Well, you would think that the Frontier Red Hawks having their home advantage would be good for them, but I think these Mohawk Warriors have a little bit more uh, experience playing in the Ackerman elements. On carry. Ackerman on the carry. By Bryce McLeod. Knocked out of bounds, About Bryce just McLeod, the Warriors. Just about at the 50. Third and five from midfield. Third and five. From midfield. From midfield at the 50. I said that already. Did you? Yes. I heard that. <laughs> Just making sure people at home know that. Right. It's at the 50, midfield, third and five. Frontier. Four and a half minutes left. Fumble on the play. Who's going to come up with the ball? Recovered by the Warriors. Fumble on the play. Warriors recover. And the ball. It's going to be tough for the Red Hawks. That is a Bryce blow. Bryce McLeod on a fumble recovery. Number five. First and ten Warriors. Bryce from McLeod the for the Warriors. Definitely paying his dues tonight. Brandon Bryan stops him. Right at the 45. 45 yard line. 45 yard line. Just under four minutes to go in Second the game. Second and 10 from the 45. Second and 10 from 45 for the Mohawk Warriors. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. Procedure on the Warriors, five yard penalty, second and 15. Procedure on the Warriors, second and 15. I believe that's the second time in the game. I believe it is. You believe so? I believe so. There's a snap back. Bissell on a carry. Yeah. Bissell takes the carry. Dylan Talbot on a stop. Dylan Talbot stops him. Eight of five. Right about the 45 yard line. Third and 10 for the Warriors. Third and 10 for the Warriors. Defense. 
with three minutes left in the game. The Red Hawks definitely trying to hold off the Warriors. Uh, there's the pass. Warriors take it down the field. Pass, complete the Whitaker tackled by Tim Hoare. Whitaker tackled by Tim Hoare. The Red Hawks definitely first a gain down, there. Warriors, first, first down. First and 10 at the frontier 36 yard line. At the 36 yard line. That was quite a play. Dodie on a carry. Dodie carries for Mohawk. Didn't really see him make any Dylan progress Tell there, did he? Timeout called by Mohawk. Mohawk calls another timeout. 17 seconds before the two minute warning. Eight of five, it'll be second and five. Frontier could just pull through for this game, Dave. Well, we'll see what happens. Definitely got to keep up the defense. Second they do, they do. The Warriors. As long as they can keep it up. If they keep giving yardage like this, though, I don't know I what don't their chance is going to be to pull this one out. Tough to say, tough to say. <laughs> 44, Whitaker on a carry. Whitaker on the carry for the Talbot on the Warriors. stop. Carry inside the frontier. 20. First down. First down. Warriors. At about the 15 yard line. Assistant coach Brian Delaney back out on the field. Going out to talk to his guys, most likely. Here we go. Mohawk makes it up. Pass. pass. Incomplete pass from Mohawk. Incomplete. Incomplete. Second and ten. Second and ten for Mohawk. Yes, it is. Just under two minutes to play. 13 to 12, our score. Mohawk desperately Doty on a carry. trying to get down the field. Doty on the carry. First down, Warriors. Oh, Warriors first now down. have the first down. Should be first and goal now. That's what I was going to say. Well, first I said goal, it first. Warriors from the frontier <laughs> three yard line. Too smart for your own good. Cody on the carry. Touchdown, touchdown And the Warriors, Warriors make the touchdown. Touchdown number 18, Andrew Doty. Andrew Doty makes a three-yard touchdown run. That'll bring it up 18-13, Mohawk Warriors. Warriors will attempt the two point conversion. Warriors going for the two. Vessel on a carry. Woo! 
Red Hawk fans very happy. Because they are unsuccessful. Brandon Bryant on the stop. That makes the fourth two-point conversion unsuccessful game, the Warriors 18, the Red of this 13. game. One fourteen left in the game. With the Warriors now leading 18-13. Andrew Doty. Andrew Doty, number 18, off. is going to kick off for the Warriors. Doty to kick off. Hebert and Ackerman back for the Red Hawks. Hebert and Ackerman for the Red Hawks. Ready to receive. And there's the kick, straight down the middle. Scooped up. Oh, quite a run. Ackerman on the return. Quite a run by Ackerman. Kick it. Piper on the stop. Red Hawks first and 10 from the Frontier 35 yard line. Red Hawks first to 10 from the 30 yard line. Definitely some life in this team yet. There is, with a minute seven left to go. There's a snap and the toss. Oh, pass and turn for Tim incomplete. Hall is incomplete. There was no way Tim, Cor Tim Hoare could have gotten his hands on that. on the carry. 34. 34. Brian Sullivan on a stop. Timeout call by the Red Hawks. Red Hawks call. I believe this is their last timeout. <laughs> That's what you said before. Did I say that before? You did, and I think the time before that. Again, just a reminder, we I don't think it was the time right before that. The game for the presentation of the trophy to the winning team. Do they have unlimited the timeouts? Dash again in Dash MVP Perhaps. <laughs> Indeed. I don't know if Murphy was lying to us or not, but producer Kevin Murphy told us four timeouts. Maybe we just maybe we just can't know. count. It's certainly possible that we we just didn't count them. That's why I never played high school football. Is I never made it to high school. <laughs> That's why I never played high school football too. You never made it to high school? No, I couldn't count. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Moving 49 right 49 seconds to go. These Red Hawk fans are geared up. Mohawk fans equally as charged. There's the pass. Quite a pass. Tim Hoare. <gasps> oh! oh! Incom incomplete. Broken up by number one, Luke Lohman. Luke Lohman. For the Warriors, made sure that that pass Fourth down for the was not accepted. With 43 seconds left in the game. Fourth and eight for the Red Hawks. Like they're gonna try. Oh. oh, and thrown away. Incomplete pass. 
Mohawk will take over on downs, first and 10 from the First to 10 for Mohawk from the line. Frontier 38 yard line. It's definitely a blow to the Red Hawks. Quite. 38 seconds left to go. First and 10. Andrew Doty takes a knee. Red Hawk fans started to make their way. Out down. as we run down the clock. And that will end the game. 18 13, the Mohawk game Warriors. From the Frontier Regional School, the final score. In the Thanksgiving the Day Hawk game. Warriors 18, the Red Hawks 13. A crushing blow for the nice hand for both Frontier teams Red for Hawks. A very entertaining football That's game. That's right, definitely. Good game played by both. Suspenseful we'll, game. Uh, invite everyone to, uh, it's a good game. Very well matched despite we the, the final score. Trophy to the Warriors, and then we will also present most valuable player awards. So the Warriors will be taking the home the trophy today. And then we'll be getting the MVPs for both the Frontier Red Hawks and the Mohawk Warriors. 50 years in the making. This game won in the fourth quarter. Touchdown by the Mohawk Warriors. It's a pretty big deal to win the 50th anniversary, yeah? That's gold. That's gold. It's gold, baby. It's <laughs> Frontier. Frontier's Marty Sanderson making his way out onto the field with the trophy to present it. Of course, to Mohawk's head coach. Doug McLeod. We want to say just one more time, thank you to Coldwell Banker, Upton Moss Mount Realtors, and Holiday Pizza. <laughs> Helped us bring you this game. At this time, we would like to have the captains from Mohawk Trail accept the trophy as the winner and the of the captains from Mohawk Trail, Trail Regional, Regional High School accept congratulations, the Mohawk champions trophy. I would imagine they would accept it. And now we will announce the MVP <laughs> for Frontier, the Tim Dash Memorial Award, which is sponsored by the. Uh, South Deerfield Polish American Citizens Club. The player selected as the MVP for Frontier today is number 20, Matt Ackerman. Congratulations, Matt. Ackerman Matt. is the MVP. Wins the award for the Frontier Red Hawks. And tonight we're happy to have a number of the members of the Gaffigan family here to present the uh, Gaffigan Award. The Gaffigan award, the award for Mohawk. Uh, will be Mike's son, Adam, and daughter, Mandy. They would like to uh, present the award. Also present will be Mike's sister, Deb, his brother, Tom, and Tom's daughter, uh, Caitlin Gaffigan, the niece of uh, Mike. And the winner of the Gaffigan Award this year, sponsored by the Shelburne Falls uh, Eagles Club, is number 32, Stephen Reynolds. Congratulations. Reynolds gets the MVP award for Mohawk. Caitlin Gaffigan Award. And there you go. The championship trophy Again, goes to Mohawk. For both teams on a very, very entertaining MVP game. for Frontier, Matt Ackerman. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone and uh, hope you had a good time have a safe watching home. this Thanksgiving Eve game here on FCAT. I'm Dave Beck. I'm Martha King Devine. And uh, see you next year.